how to apply paste and powder to get the maximum hold. I've been doing this for months now and it's been working for me. There's no right or wrong way to do this. The right way is what works for you. It's like your kitchen, your rolls, your dentures, your rolls. So you do what works for you. Play around, do different things. But I'm gonna show you how I do it, that maybe it will work for you. I've had people email me and message me telling me that they've done this and it works for them also. So the first thing I'm gonna do, when you get your dentures out, you rinse them out of the liquid. I turn them immediately upside down on my paper towel. I'm gonna move you down. See, they're upside down. I just turn them upside down. And the water, some water's gonna drain off, some of it's gonna stay, but that's okay. Because when you use the fixative, fixative, I can't talk, powder, you, it says you need water. So this is what I do, and, and it works great. I have my bottom denture, and I'll start here, and I'll put some, a dot, like a few dots back, like just like that. And then here I'll do another dot and just go back, just like that. And then sometimes I'll go over like back here and just put that there, okay? Now I don't spread this around because you see the glops in there or the heavy piles? I know my dentures are loose and I know that that's gonna fill in my gaps. I, I know that that's gonna do that. So I don't spread mine around. I've tried spreading it around and I promise you it, it doesn't hold. It doesn't hold as good as when you would spread it around. In here, I just, same thing. This is more of a line. I make sure there's a line run through there and I don't go directly. See how I like left that open right there? Well, this and that's gonna gush together and it's gonna make that work and then there won't be too much. So you can tell, I mean, they're just a little bit damp. They're not all the way damp. I mean, they're not soaking wet. Now, right directly on top of these, I'm gonna do the bottom denture first. I just put, I just, okay, I do that. And then on the top, the only place I really go, I go lightly, like right there. And then I shake it off this way so it goes toward the front, and I have that. This, I just turn upside down, and whatever comes out, comes out, and that's what I'm left with, and I'm happy with that. And when you have dentures, you don't, who has time to just dry and do all the things? If I was doing other things, I would dry them, but this works for me on the top and the bottom. It holds it all day, there's my cat. I can go out, uh, the, it's, what time is it now? It's 11.30, it's a little late in the morning, but I can go out to dinner after putting these in at 9 a.m. I can go out to dinner and eat and the bottom denture doesn't move, nor does the top. So this is what works for me. So you just put them in. And I just kind of wiggle a little bit and make sure it gets everywhere. This one. I just put it in there and I press from like and I might give a little suck but that's that's all I do I mean dentures don't have to be hard they don't have to be time consuming do what works for you there's no right way there's no wrong way the right way is what works for you this stays in for me all day all day in fact I'll have to pry the top one out at night before I go to bed because it's in there so tight. No, I need a soft reline. I know I need that because I'm using too much paste. So I'm going to be doing denture fit soon. I'm going to try that. Subscribe, come back next denture fit. Yay. All right. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.